Hi, I am Kavi Vagolikar and with Dr. McLaughlin, I will be presenting a brief description of our paper entitled Automated Recommendations for Cervical Cancer Screening and Surveillance. This report provides an overview of the development of a comprehensive clinical decision support system. The system is aimed at assisting primary care providers to decide on PAP testing. This work was carried out over a period of three years with participation from clinical experts at Mayo Clinic. I request Dr. McLaughlin, who is a primary clinical expert, to describe the need for the decision support system. Thank you, Kavi. In the last several years, several publications have been released in the United States that provide evidence-based guidelines for clinicians, both in terms of screening for cervical cancer and managing abnormal test results such as cytology, HPV, or colposcopic biopsy results. And for those of us who are clinicians, the good news is that these various guideline groups have come together and achieved consensus. However, the challenge is that the guidelines are complex. Many studies have shown that clinicians are not always appropriately following these guidelines, and part of the reason for that is that multiple variables must be considered to correctly apply the guidelines to each unique patient scenario. For example, patient age, risk status, prior test type, their past results, and any past treatments they have had may potentially impact subsequent screening and management. Clinical decision support systems are exciting because they provide a point of care recommendation for clinicians. However, most current systems offer very simplified guidance on routine screening. For example, three-year reminders for cervical cytology for all women, but this may not be appropriate for women who have had past PAP or HPV abnormalities. Our work has expanded upon these simplified systems and provides more comprehensive recommendations for both screening and management in the world of cervical cancer screening. We're hopeful that this will improve patient quality of care as well as save time for clinicians. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McLaughlin. To develop the system, we first reviewed all the national guidelines for cervical cancer screening and surveillance and created a unified guideline model that captures the logic. As the clinicians would find it cumbersome to manually look up all the patient variables required for applying the guidelines, we created an automated data extraction system. This system automatically extracted the relevant patient information and computed the guideline recommendation for display in the EHR. The system was validated by comparing the recommendations of the system with those of clinicians. Overall accuracy was 87%. Further details are available in the paper. We hope that this paper is useful for the development of similar systems at other institutions and for addressing other clinical domains. Thank you for listening to this video abstract.